Hello, my name is James and welcome to Mirror Domains. And this is a trailer reaction for Black Widow. Teaser trailer reaction. Teaser. Now it's being listed as the teaser trailer. So I'm guessing it's just going to show us a quick little couple of scenes to give us a, you know, a little bit of a taste as to what they're uh, going for. So, uh, I'm curious about this though, I, I want to know when does this take place? Obviously it's a prequel because we know what happens to her in Endgame. So, let's just see what the synopsis briefly says. A film about Natasha Romanoff in her quests between the films Civil War and Infinity War. Oh, okay. So, between Civil War and Infinity War... Uh, yeah, huh, so, yeah, it, it must have flashbacks though, right? I'm very curious, Florence Pugh is in this, hmm, hmm, alright, we'll have to take a look online afterwards to take a look at the cast listing and learn a little bit more about this production, but let's get on with it, let's take a look at this teaser trailer for Black Widow. Hmm. I be still, my beating heart. And then I got this job. This family. But nothing lasts forever. Hmm. I heard you had to leave in a hurry. It's never easy these days. That voice. Ah. What are you going to do? Ross. I've lived a lot of lives. He's de aged though. From my past. I don't know if I like the look of that. I know you're out there. I know you know I'm out here. So we're gonna talk like grown ups? Is that what we are? That's Florence Pugh. Okay. Cool. She's the bad guy. Hmm. Good to see you too, sis. What brings you home? Sis. So they're sisters? Ooh. We have unfinished business. We have to go back to where it all started. Wow. I like oh, that. Yes. One thing's for sure. Taskmaster. He's the bad guy, right? Rachel Vice? <laughs> David Harbour? <laughs> what is that? It's family. Back together again. Hmm. Florence you Pugh. Beautiful. This is a good cast. Oh, yeah. Let me see some. Wow. Okay. That's cool. Huh. Wow. Very interesting. Black Widow! May 2020, yes, we're going to have to take a look online to see what the exact release date is. The release date is May 1st, 2020. Uh, what was your main takeaway from that? As a teaser, it just kind of gave us a tone of, uh, well, there's going to be a lot of action, for sure. And that's cool. I thought that was well done. And it looks like she's on a mission that uh, reveals her sister played by Florence Pugh. So we'll have to take a look online and see who's all in this cast because I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and it had a little bit of comedy there with the way that the family or like that group there at the end was talking. Uh, if you are familiar about this story and her backstory, let me know in the comments below if there's any kind of like Easter eggs or anything that I should be aware of going into this because I, I'm very curious about this. This is phase four, right? And, uh, it's weird that we're going back in time to tell her story for Phase 4. All right. So, uh, I thought it was cool. I thought it was well done. I like that teaser. Let's just take a look online here and uh, just see what we can see. Uh, we'll pull up the um, IMDb page. Black Widow 2020. Action, adventure, sci-fi. May 1st. Okay. Uh, and, yeah, that poster. I prefer the other poster, but, eh. It'll get better. It's just a teaser poster. Director, Kate Shortland. Now, do I know anything about her? We'll take a look at it later. Ah, there they are. 
Rachel Weiss. Ooh. Daniel Craig comes home to that every night. What a lucky guy. Oh, and someday in the future, maybe I'll come home to that every night. <laughs> uh, in my dreams. Okay, so we continue on down to the cast here. Uh, Florence Pugh. Okay, Yelena Belova. But it's a different last name than Romanov. If they're sisters, then they're... Are, are they blood sisters? Somebody's going to have to let me know about that in the comments below. Why is it listing Robert Downey Jr.? As Tony Stark here. It's, it's, it says rumored. Uh, it's curious that they're listening to him. Maybe they'll just show him like on a, a screen somewhere talking or something like that, but I don't actually see him being part of the movie. But if it does take place between Civil War and Infinity War, then of course, yeah, he can still be there because while both of them are, uh, you know, they went to sleep for a long time. Uh, Rachel Weiss, uh, Melina Vostokov. So somebody's good, somebody was saying that, uh, this character becomes a bad guy, uh, but we see that they're working together all the time in this movie, so that'll be interesting to see. Red Guardian is played by David Harbour. Red Guardian. And Thaddeus Ross, of course, is, uh, William Hurt. Ray Winstone. Did we see him? I don't, I don't think we did. Uh, let's just see if there's any other names here that really jump out at me. Not many. So scrolling up, let's just take a look at the director, this Kate Shortland, and see if there's anything there that uh, would uh, suggest that we're in good hands here. Okay, um, scrolling down, let's just take a look at what she's done. 11 credits, TV stuff, two pictures there, five years apart. I don't recognize those names, Somersault. Mm, that doesn't sound familiar. A lot of shorts and TV stuff. So, so one of these projects here was enough to say to some producer, hey, you know what? This Kate Shortland can handle a big action blockbuster from the MCU. Black Widow. Hmm. Something in here says that she can do that. So, um, is from the teaser, uh, it looked good. Uh, but you know, you always have Kevin Feige there as your, uh, as your backbone, right? Somebody you can rely on, your, your pillar. Uh, and I think, uh, for the most part, it's gonna be curious to see how this movie does. Cause this feels like this came out just a little bit late. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about, man? Going back to the main page here, nothing much more to see. I like that costume she's wearing. Uh, we'll just pull up that alternative poster here too. Uh, I, I prefer that first one, even though it's a little bit more cartoonish. I, I, okay, here it is, straight up. Uh, I hope it does okay. I don't think it's gonna make a billion dollars. Of course, I'll watch it because I'm in love with Scarlett Johansson and Florence Pugh, uh, was in Midsommar this year. She's getting, uh, some notoriety now. She's gonna be an up and coming star. So, Black Widow, it's gonna be curious to see how this one's received. I liked it. Let me know what you thought about this trailer in the comments below. And I can't wait to the full actual trailer. Okay, that's it. YouTube is recommending a video for you to watch right there, and you can see my latest one just right up here. My name is James, and you're watching Mirror Domains. If you've liked what you've seen, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe.